All right, it is day two, North Carolina turkey season. The rain has finally stopped. Yesterday was a complete washout. Wind, rain, and cold. It has warmed up a little bit and the rain's quit, but it's still blowing a gale. I'm gonna try to slip in here on the edge of this little food plot, see what we can see. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get one to cooperate this afternoon. So, wish us luck. When you think you're having a bad day, then old strutter comes in. That's right. How about that? You can see I got one. I'm not sure how good the footage is going to be. I'm not even sure if I got it on the footage. I had the GoPro set up over to my left. Uh, hopefully it got the shot. I'm pretty sure my Tacticam battery went dead. But uh, anyways, tell you how this went down. I slipped in here the back side of this pasture. And uh, when I slipped up this ditch, I spooked a couple hens. And they went all the way to the other side. Well, on the other and they left. I don't know where they went. But on the other side of the pasture was uh, two long beards and a jake. And there was one lonely hen over on the right hand side of the pasture that didn't get spooked. They went to her and then I don't know what the deal was, but anyway, she went with them back across the pasture, 
this, I guess it's the same hens that was with them to begin with, come back out in the pasture, and they fed down this left-hand lane, or left-hand fence road, and come up in here. But anyways, while they was on the back side out of sight, I slipped back out and got my hen decoy, because I seen how interested them two gobblers was in that single hen. So I eased out here and put the decoy out, slipped back in the woods, when they made their way back across and was feeding up this side, they seen this hen, this decoy. And uh, so anyways, they come up through there and then the hen started working right straight down from me. And uh, I seen the strutter. This is the one that's been strutting all week. And this is the bigger of the two birds. Uh, but anyhow, the hens got right beside me. I'm talking five, 10 yards and I could hear them start alerting but when he fell out of strut he was probably 30 35 yards and uh, I had to stand up on my knees and shoot because I didn't have a shot anyways I got a shot and uh, I'm shooting a Remington 870 I've had this gun for years and uh, this old gun's never failed me it's got a $12 Undertaker, HS Strut Undertaker choke. I've had it for years. Uh, my cousin actually gave it to me years ago. And uh, she's bad, so thanks, Lawrence. I really hope I got the footage on film. If I did, you'll see it. If not, we won't. But uh, I'm just blessed to be out here. I love it. I don't know of any other thing I'd rather do than shoot a turkey or turkey hunt. Um, I want to thank the landowner. He'll be watching this. I don't want to mention any names. Thank the landowner for letting me hunt this uh, piece of property. It's about a 20, 30 acre piece of property with some fields. It's the only fields I had to hunt. And uh, I probably won't hunt back in here again. There is one other long beard. I think he's a two year old. He's He's a lot smaller body-wise than this this one. Uh, I generally take one bird off of this property a year, and then I leave the rest. So if you happen to see any more videos of me hunting, we'll probably be in the woods. But again, I want to thank the landowner. Uh, it means so much to me for somebody to actually give me permission to hunt a piece of property. And I don't have to worry about anybody else coming in on top of me, that kind of thing. Thanks again. Uh, this bird's got a pretty good beard. I'd say he'll go 10 inches. Got some pretty good spurs. They're probably an inch and an eighth, maybe an inch and a quarter. Beautiful bird, heavy bird. He's going to go 20, 21 pounds. Um, it's a beautiful bird. It don't get no better than this right here in North Carolina. So I'm going to close it out. Appreciate y'all watching. If you like seeing videos like this, as always, uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Click on that subscribe button down in the right hand corner. And, uh, I know this sounds kind of cheesy, but you know, treat every hunt like it's your last because you never know when it's going to be. I appreciate y'all watching. See you on the next one. Well, that's what's left over after a successful hunt. Got him cleaned up. Got her breasts, a tenders, thigh and leg. Leave a comment down below if y'all saved the thighs and legs. We used to not save them up until a couple years ago. And uh, I'll tell you what you can do with these. They're so tough. You can take these thighs and legs and pressure cook them. Pull them out of the pressure cooker. Uh, cut them up. Take all the little tendons that run down the legs. Get all that stuff out of there, all the tough stuff. And then my wife, Brandy, takes and chops the meat up, mixes it up in a taco seasoning, and she'll make uh, nachos 
with that turkey meat. And I'm going to tell you, it is awesome. Just another way to uh, use all the bird that you can. Like I said, we used to not save them, but now we do. Uh, I found that's the best way to, to do them. Anyways, the bird ended up being about, I think it was 20.1 pounds. So pretty good bird for Eastern North Carolina. But like I said, leave a comment down below if y'all saved the, uh, the thighs and legs. I didn't post or I didn't record the video of me cleaning it. I didn't want to get in trouble on YouTube. But uh, there's the finished product, and that's really what it's all about, putting meat on the table.